What's up everyone? I wanted to share a update on what I've been doing and what the plan is next. Um, for at least the past 18 months, I've been working at a startup with a small team. Um, it's been tough and startups in general are incredibly hard to get right. Now I've decided to move on and try my hand at building and creating full time. Um, I've always considered myself a tinkerer. I like to experiment. I like to learn new things um, and recently have been interested in language models. My background isn't a researcher, right? I'm just a uh, software engineer. I've, uh, I, I haven't been at a lab. I've only worked at startups. Um, you know, which sort of matches with how I like to work and experiment. But I think being able to sort of move fast and try things and build what I think is useful is the right step for me right now. And language models, um, I feel like they are the next step in software. A combination of, you know, procedural and functional code with built-in intelligence, okay? The intelligent part being the language model, right? And, you know, where it can keep improving and in turn improve the software and the products using it. Um, the idea being to increase productivity and help people, right? I, I think, you know, it would be silly to assume that only big companies should be able to work um, on this stuff. It doesn't make sense to me to, to um, you know, to, to limit that because why should uh, intelligence be gated, right? The technology itself is useful. It's hard to ignore. Um, these models are trained on vast amounts of data, um, uh, public data, right? And then those models are somehow supposed to be, um, you know, only managed by the large companies, right? Or, and only monetized by them, right? Um, in the grand scheme of it all, the data is produced by people. And so the technology should be available to people to use, right? Number one. And number two, um, someone outside of the big companies should be able to learn about this stuff, right? Uh, I think it adds transparency because if you look at what's happening recently with the, with the models, um, there's a lot less information coming out, right? About how they work, about how they're trained. And I think it's not just software, right? It's also hardware. It's um, showing people how, how to run these things and everything around it, uh, how to train them, how to make them work for you, right? Now, if it's kept behind big companies, then what happens is a bunch of gatekeeping, okay? Uh, what hardware are you supposed to use for the tech, right? How do you tune it to work for you and what you're building, right? I think the technology is unique, right? Uh, in that it enables people to do a lot more, right? It can help you as an assistant, uh, learn new things or enhance what you already know. Um, you can even use it to build your own ideas, right? If you look at the progress that OpenAI has been making, you'll sort of see that they're going wide, okay? Uh, they're using the language models as the building blocks and adding an ecosystem around it, adding plugins, uh, all while keeping the how the tech works gated, okay? In many ways, you know, they are ahead of what um, other language models can do, right? And it can be useful to understand how their models work or, or how at least they're, they were trained, you know, how they were built, in, in which case it makes it easier to understand and add transparency, right? Um, now, this does not mean give away their model, right? I don't think uh, any company or soft, uh, startup needs to give away their sauce, right? Whatever that might be. Uh, I think the potential has, uh, I think the technology has the potential to change how people work and AI can be far reaching, right? Far reaching in the sense that it can disrupt many fields at once. It, it, being able to learn how they work um, 
how you can run them is important to keeping a, a balance. I think so. Now, I can't sustain myself without working, right? So I'll need to likely do a bit of con uh, contracting, but effectively enough to pay for bills um, and whatnot. But the goal for me is to create a lot more content, talk um, on Twitter more, put out more video videos like the previous videos on my YouTube channel, and build, build products. Um, I think talking about what I'm doing and sharing my experiments and experiences with you can be useful, okay? Um, I, I think it can help you along the way. Uh, if anything, you'll at least be entertained or something, right? Um, Twitter is a way for me to share, you know, quick thoughts and ideas, but YouTube is a way to sort of connect and explore these things deeper and more uh, direct, more directly, right? It's not a complex plan. Um, I really like simple plans and just executing on them. Right? Um, my focus has been on building with language models and experimenting with them, um, fine tuning them, working on data sets and building products around them. I think there's a lot to learn still, uh, but I think we can learn together along the way, okay? Um, this transition for me probably won't be obvious or easy. Um, so I'll be trying to figure it out as I go. Now, the good thing is, you know, you can follow along and hopefully get something out of it. So to recap, you can follow me on Twitter where I'll tweet my thoughts, share my ideas, um, or you can sub to my YouTube channel, right? Where, you know, I'll post longer form content, videos like this and uh, me writing code and talking about what I'm doing, uh, experiments, right? Um, so until the next video, stay in touch, all right?